proves my theory that Africa is the birthplace of menthol cigarettes. And malt liquor. Put that in the bag, sweetie. Oh my god. What is this? Hunger! Hunger! Kuenga! Kuenga! Must be time for Moesha. <laughs> Guess what? I brought goodies. <gasps> Jamaica, you didn't have to bring us gifts. I got these at the dig, dig. The Africans call these Tagawi. Wow. What would they be called in English? Altoids. And for you, Chip, <sighs> a t-shirt. It's in your size. Double Matumbo. <laughs> and for you, BJ, an authentic African tchotchke. Wow. Thanks, Jamaica. This will make a great souvenir. OK, gang, we have to get to the mayor's office. BJ, you can play with your thingy later. Son of the Beach, starring Jamie Bergman as B.J. Cummings, Roland Kickinger as Chip Rommel, Lila Arzieri as Jamaica St. Croix, Kim Oya as Kimberly Clark, Michael Berenson as Lieutenant Steve Andrews, even more starring Lisa Baines as Mayor Anita Massengill, and starring most of all, Timothy Stack as Knox Johnson. Special guest star, Maureen McCormick. Tonight's episode, The Sexorcist. Son of the Beach contains no MSG. So, remember my campaign slogan. Vote for Massengill, not some other douchebag. Thank you again for coming, Mrs. Strother. I really value the endorsement of Perfect Family Magazine. Now, Mayor, you don't have my endorsement just yet. Yes, well, we're just all so happy you came. <laughs> You're evil. Oh. Damn, BJ. You can lay out them big gulps, girl. Come on, Kimberly, let's get ready. Mayor, could you please tell me what that was all about? Johnson? Um, it was an accident, Mrs. Strother. Obviously, BJ thought she was swimming in the ocean where we all go to urinate freely. Mrs. Strother, let me show you a better example of SPF 30 manpower. Chip Rommel. Thank you, Mayor. Isn't he a terrific specimen? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just forget I'm the mayor. <laughs> I become a giggling teenager with a schoolgirl crush. Am I going to get the goods on her? I can't believe I did that. BJ, that is not what I meant when I said you go, girl. Mm -mm -mm. BJ, if it's a bladder control issue, I can loan you one of my Knotts Johnson big boy Snuggies. Now with a touch of Retson. Thanks, Notch. Sorry, PJ, I'll get it. Uh, Notch? Uh, BJ, you got some sort of furry creature down here. Oh, that's just my muskrat. Oh. <laughs> BJ, it's important to figure out what caused your faux pee. Uh, paw. Now, have you been under stress? Not that I know of. Do me. Do me now. BJ. I know this is a locker room, but that's locker room talk. Oh. Well, no, there's something seriously wrong with BJ. I think we should call a doctor. Yeah, that's the worst case of bronchitis I've ever seen. Uh, no, not I'm talking about a psychiatrist. Exfoliating! Exfoliating! That's the devil making her do that. Are you saying BJ's possessed by an evil force? I'm calling Dr. Towers, the clinical psychologist from Malibu adjacent. Better yet, Kimberly. You call Dr. Towers, the clinical psychologist from Malibu adjacent. In the meantime, I'm gonna look up an old friend. BJ? Chip, the mayor seems to show genuine affection for her employees, especially you. Well, it's not that she singles me out, it's more like she corners me. She corners you, really? Chip, look, I know this might be hard for you, but has the mayor ever touched you inappropriately? No, it was very appropriate. She was offering me a promotion. Ah. Not! There she is! Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen you in such a long time. Well, I wish this was a personal visit, but uh, something just came up. Really? Tell me about it. I have reason to believe someone close to me might be possessed by the devil. 
Oh, that sounds horrible. Can you zip me up? Sure. But Notch, I thought that you weren't a believer, that you had lost your faith. Sister Ashley, I never lost my faith in the Almighty. I only lost faith in myself. As far as I can tell, there's nothing psychologically wrong with BJ. Dr. Towers, are you saying she's completely healthy? Well, if it'll make you feel better, I'd be happy to give her a breast exam. Um, no, thank you. That'll be fine. Hey, gang. Say hey to Sister Ashley from Our Lady the Perfect Wave. You know, I always wondered what it would be like to go to an all-girls Catholic school. work here? Oh, oops. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> if BJ's truly possessed, she'll show some telltale signs. For instance, has anybody seen her move objects without using her hands? Not until now. <laughs> it burns! It burns! This holy water repels her! We need to perform an exorcism. Sister? What is it, girlfriend? No, Sister Ashley. Are you sure BJ needs an exorcism? Couldn't hurt. The longer the devil's inside of her, the harder it will be to get him out. Those are the rules. You know them better than I do, Notch. I know, I know. Stop it, would you? You're like an annoying sister. I'm not. Or two. I'm not. Or two. I'm rubber, Notch, you're. How do you know so much about exorcisms? Ah, oh, Kimberly. Before I found my calling as a lifeguard, I spent a good part of my youth working at a seminary. There I spent a lot of time under Father Chuck. Father Chuck? He was the world's top exorcist. Notch, you're more qualified than I am to perform this exorcism. Listen to me, sister. I won't do it. I let someone down once, and I'm not doing it again. Thank you for your soft money contribution. Just so you know, I'm also taking hard ones. Hello, Mother. Good news. Just got back from the Navy base where I took several polls. You are running high among sailors who shave their body hair. <clears throat> Once Mrs. Strother's article in Perfect Family magazine comes out, I'll be a shoe in Also, I'm running unopposed. Ah! It's here! Perfect Family magazine! <laughs> America's filthiest mayor? What? The mayor has her hands in more than just politics? Lifeguard Chip Rommel claims to have been groped, fondled, and sexually attacked? This gets me worked up. I'm gonna go take some more polls. Not so fast. My campaign's in real jeopardy here. Excuse me, mayor? I think you should turn on channel 53. Mayor Massengill's campaign has just been dealt a giant blow. Don't look at me. How did this happen? Why did Mrs. Strother do this? I did this because the only candidate who could truly put families first is the perfect family candidate. Someone who's married, someone who has sex in only one position and doesn't enjoy it. And that someone is me. Bitch! Notch! Notch! Why won't you do the exorcism? I've never known you to run from anything. Because, Kimberly, there was a time in the seminary when I let down a very good friend. And that friend was Father Chuck. I love Chuck. We used to play this wonderful word game. Chuck, Chuck, Bobuck, Cabana, Bana, Bofa. Yeah, Notch, I, I know how it goes. I knew him since I was an altar boy. And later, as a seminarian, whenever I was lonely, Chuck would let me enter his rectory. I'll never forget the smell of his rectory. I get the picture, Notch. Look, can we get to what happened? I was on night shift, working as a bingo ball caller, when I got the news. A young runaway from a neighboring parish was possessed. I got there as fast as I could. The poor kid was writhing in pain. He had just knew that the devil was eating away at his soul. Hold out this cross and repeat after me. Evil spirits, be gone! I remember Father Chuck handed me the crucifix. But in my haste, I poked myself in the eye. I couldn't see. And when I finally could, there Father Chuck lay, dead on the floor. The devil had won. The devil had stolen that kid's soul. <laughs> and that boy's name was Rosie O'Donnell. 
Look, Notch, I understand you're afraid, but BJ really needs you. Look, I'd love to have a good BJ again. I believe there's no such thing as a bad BJ. But the guilt of Father Chuck is just too strong. I can't do it. Well, that's just great. Let Sister Ashley do all the work while your best friend's soul hangs in the balance. I knew you'd understand. Notch Johnson, I never thought I'd say this, but you are a coward. <laughs> How did this happen? I'm so sorry, Maya, but Mrs. Strada tricked me. Well, now you're going to trick her. You better get dirt on her or you'll be patrolling the beaches in Berlin. But there are no beaches in Berlin. Exactly. I need you to crack Mrs. Strother's squeaky clean image. Yeah, but how? You're going to seduce that tight ass shrew with everything you've got. While Cody captures it all on videotape. Understand? Mayor, you can count on me. Uh, so, Chip. You ever had your pull taken? Mm -hmm. Evil spirits be gone! We command you! Evil spirits be gone! We command you! I don't think so. Oh, not you came back. Oh, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Relax, Kimberly. I just came back to get my ditty bag. I'm all out of ditties. Notch, my son. Tell me you're not afraid. Father Chuck, is that you? Yes, Notch. And me Irish eyes aren't smiling. If you really are Father Chuck, as an altar boy, what were those three little words I loved hearing you whisper in my ear? They're magically delicious. It really is you, Father Chuck. How can it be Father Chuck? You let him die just like BJ is about to die. <laughs> okay, Mr. Devil, you have gone too far. I'm taking over the exorcism. <laughs> I don't care how much you throw up on me of that sticky, gooey, milky, wood. <laughs> salty substance. I am going to get my beach. <laughs> Evil spirits, you have no power here. Be gone. We command you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kimberly, quickly secure BJ's wrists. Jamaica, tie down her legs, spread eagle. Okay, those wrists have to be secured tight. Okay, Jamaica, tie her legs wide. That's the only way she'll be able to take it. No, wider! Spread it, girl. Nabisco, Nabisco, Popo Gigio Crisco, Domino, Domino, Cannabis Sativa! Mrs. Strother running for mayor. Oops, I dropped the penny. Maybe I'll bend over so you can see my firm buttocks. <laughs> I know what you're up to, Chip. What do you mean? I'm just trying to have extramarital sex with you. The mayor put you up to this, didn't she? Didn't she? I can't take the pressure, yes! She sent me down to seduce you, but I was just following orders. Well, in that case, say hello to one of my 2.5 children, Alex. No! Evil spirits, be gone. gone. We command you. you. Evil spirits, be gone. We, we command, command you. you. Sister Ashley, I think we're making some headway. You'll never be me, Johnson. Never! Ooh, that devilly bitch needs on my scene. Pardon me, devil, for using the H-word, but you can go to heck. Sister, are we gonna lose her? <laughs> Not on my watch. By all the power that is good, I command you to leave this girl's body! <laughs> sister! Sister! Sister, sister? Ooh, I used to love that show. Well, how'd they get two homegirls that look so much alike? What is this? Oh, that's the talisman from Africa that Jamaica gave BJ. Oh my God, Notch, that's it. The natives freaked out when they saw that. I bet they knew it had the devil inside. Oh my God, this is all my fault. Yes, it is, but I have an idea. If Satan came out of this thing, what do you say we make Satan go back inside? <laughs> Pretty interesting you preyed upon BJ, a simple fair-haired virgin. And Father Chuck, a kindly old man whose rectory was always open. 
and I enjoy killing him, just like I'm going to enjoy killing you. And if you doubt my power, don't forget, I made people think Caddy Lee was talented. You think I'm some sort of Freddy cat? Come into me. Come into me. The power of Johnson compels you. The, the power, power of Johnson, Johnson compels, compels you. you. The, the power, power of Johnson, Johnson compels you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, the Lord works in some mysterious ways. <laughs> I'm going to throw this in the ocean so BJ can never be repossessed. Yeah. BJ, you're all right. I had the strangest dream. You were there, Notch. And you too, Kimberly. And you, Jamaica. <laughs> wow, there's no place like home. <laughs> Beach, can we get you anything? Well, I am a little hungry. Oh, baby girl, I will be up anything your little heart desires. Anything but devil's food cake. <laughs> 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 Good morning. I'd like to introduce to you the mayor of Malibu adjacent, Anita Massengill. And her challenger, Mrs. Strother. Thank you. Before we begin, I'd just like to say I did not have sex with that man, Mr. Rommel. Thank you, honorable mayor. The first question is for Mrs. Strather. Mrs. Strather, do you think that Red China should be allowed into the United Nations? To me! To me now! Uh, Mayor Massagill, a rebuttal? I think my constituency would like to hear more from my opponent. The sow is mine! I promised death to all those who cross me! For evil will reign supreme forever! <laughs> She's making some interesting points. <laughs> oh, hi, teens. Notch Johnson here. Tonight's show is pointless. So instead of doing a wrap-up, I'm going to reach into my mail sack and pull out a piece of my mail. Tonight's letter comes to us from an S. Riley of Eugene, Oregon. S. writes... Dear Notch, my friend and I made a bet that Michelle, your wrap-up girl, couldn't do five jumping jacks in a row. Well, S, I'm here to tell you Michelle can do better than that. Michelle? Hi, Notch. Hi, Michelle. Michelle is not only going to do five jumping jacks, she's going to do five in slow motion. Michelle? Ah, that was terrific. So until next time, this is Notch Johnson saying, Ride the big one. <laughs>